Gamers, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to go ahead and make some Halloween cards. Now, in the very beginning, we really didn't know what we were going to do, but we decided that we were going to use those cutouts from the paper packs, the DSP paper packs. We purchased one from... Um, from Z Michaels probably a few years ago it was a Martha Stewart one and we also purchased one uh, recently from this year's paper pack uh, they only had one and honestly to tell you the truth they had them in those bins that usually are like the hot buys and stuff like that so that's where I found the newest one however however um, we wanted to make some simple little Halloween cards I didn't want to really spend too much time on stamping and stuff like that so we decided that we were gonna go ahead and do a lot of layers a lot of card mats but we were also gonna go ahead and um, use those cutouts from the actual paper pack so these are the beautiful little cards that we are going to be making today super duper duper easy we made these cards in less than like 10 minutes which is amazing so I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys's time let's get down and dirty with a little paper crafting boo-boos and let's make these cards and I will see you in a bit hola hola my little crafty monsters let's get down and dirty and make these little bad boys right here <laughs> so this is the paper pack that we are going to be using and we are also using a orange cardstock that is 110 pounds please excuse peanut he is shaking away why does it always seem that when i'm about to record um Cleopatra is down there underneath my desk playing with something that's making noise. And Peanut just decides to go ahead and shake himself every five seconds. Uh, I tell you guys. But anyway, this is a little paper pack. These are the little cutouts that we're going to go ahead and use. Obviously, I'm just going to do two of them for this video. But I am going to be making more um, a little bit later on using the rest of these little bad boys. So we're just going to go ahead and cut these out. These are super easy to cut out because they're already lined out for you. And um, like I said, these make making greeting cards so much easier. I love, love, love to make greeting cards out of this. This is just a lot more easier than going and, you know, pulling out your stamp sets and stamping and then cleaning them up and all that good stuff. So all you need is, um, is your card bases. Now, these card bases, we went ahead and we cut them to five and a half. So they're going to be basically a card of five and a quarter to five and a half. And if you guys need more instructions on how to do these little bad boys, there is going to be a link in the description on card making 101. And I'm going to go ahead and just walk you guys through that one. So all you need to do is just go ahead and just make your card bases. We're going to go ahead and just score them here. And then we're going to go ahead and start cutting all of the paper mats. Now, just have in hand that, you know, one of the paper mats, we went ahead and we cut them out with a um, little die that I have that I purchased from AliExpress, I would want to say about two years ago, but it could have been a little bit sooner, but I know it's been over a year. So we're going to go ahead and just use that die also to kind of give the last mat kind of a little texture to it, a little something, something, so it's not just straight, um, it's not just straight you know, a, a card mat. I'm sorry. It's because I'm looking at Cleopatra down here. It seems like she is playing with a candy. <laughs> um, I've been doing some Halloween stuff, so there's probably a candy that fell down and she found it. So anywho, anywho, now we're going to go ahead and just start cutting out our card mats. I'm going to go ahead and use purple then i'm going to use a black and then i'm going to use the actual cutout from that little um, paper pack and so we're going to go ahead and just do that and so right here we're just going to go ahead and cut these out like i said guys if you guys need a little bit more information on these card mats we're going to go ahead and put a link in the bottom and it'll give you guys more of the measurements and stuff like that but just so you guys know when you guys are going down on card mats you're going down by a quarter of an inch so every time you're going to add a a mat onto the front of your card just go down by a quarter of an inch when you're cutting it and you're going to go ahead and have perfect little um frame all around your cards anywho so right here i'm just going to go ahead and look for my black cardstock i'm going to go ahead and pull out that black cardstock and i'm also going to go ahead and um and basically distress the edges of the card mats. I don't want the card bases to be too clean in color. I want them to be a little bit Halloween-y, like we said. Halloween-y is the word, guys. 
<laughs> yes, it is. Trust me. So, um, <laughs> don't go try to look it up, my little crafty monsters. Don't be trying to do that. Just take my word for it <laughs> and start using that word. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit black soot on the edges of our card base. And I like to do the inside and the outside and even the back part, even though a lot of people don't look at the back part. But... It's just to keep everything uniform. I'm going to also go ahead and hit the black set with this purple um, cardstock. And obviously, we're not going to have to use the black set on the black cardstock because the cardstock's already black. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and skip that step when we do the black one. But right here, okay, so if you guys were going to go ahead and stamp something in the inside of these cards, which we're not going to do that right now because we don't know if we're going to do these for as a greeting Halloween card or if we're going to use these as a birthday Halloween card. So I didn't stamp anything in the inside. However, if you guys are going to go ahead and do that, you might want to do that before you start putting on the card mats on top because if you guys do make a mistake, I have teach I have taught you guys in various other card making videos that I have, which I have a lot of them because I do do greeting cards a lot. But I had I taught you guys how to cover it up and you know use the other side and all that stuff. So that's that's why you want to go ahead and stamp your sentiments before you start putting the card mats, just in case you f it all up, my little crafty monsters, and <laughs> you have to kind of like turn that paper around or anything. So these are the little dies that I purchased from. Um, AliExpress and like I said I purchased these about a few years ago I love how it has that little ripped little edges on them I used these the last time for uh, a pirate birthday card that I did it, I think it was a box birthday card you guys have to definitely check that out on my Instagram I mean on my Instagram on my Facebook on all the other videos it came out super duper cute so the map came out really cute with that little die but anyway this is just to kind of give that last paper mat a little something something so that it's not just straight you know lines I mean it just kind of gave it that little Halloween kind of feel to it and all you're really doing guys is just gluing all of your stuff in layers that's how fast and easy this card is or these cards and I mean you could make so many of them I mean in that paper pack you have I mean you have two sheets of those cut aparts and I honestly believe that you could probably get anywhere from eight to ten cards out of those cut aparts. So that's really awesome right there. So right here we're just going to go ahead and use some little black hearts because I love using these black hearts for Halloween cards. Um, you've seen me use these in many, many other projects. As you can tell that little container used to be super full and now they are almost halfway empty. So <laughs> I'm hoping that the little hole in the wall store in L.A that I usually go to is open again because it's been closed even what was it about two weeks ago I went and they were closed so I'm hoping that they reopen I'm praying that they did not go out of business due to the pandemic because you know with what everything is going on right now boo boo as well it's pretty hard for some of these little mom and pop stores to continue staying open and afloat but we're gonna go ahead and pray that that one is still open because that was one place where I used to get a lot a lot of my supplies so right here i'm just using some e6000 use some e6000 when you're using any kind of plastic or any kind of like um slick ma um, materials or like mylar or anything like that or acetate use your e6000 because that will really really grip onto whatever it is that you're um you're gluing your item onto and it will just keep it on there pretty snug and it's not going to go anywhere so i love using my e6000 when i'm using my little hearts like this because it's just a lot easier these are the cards we made how fast was that guys we literally made them under 10 minutes for these two cards so could you imagine you could pull out a lot of them and that's it my little crafty Welcome monsters back, my little crafty monsters that's how easy it was to make those little greeting cards now greeting cards halloween cards whatever you want to call them now the reason why we didn't stamp any sentiments in the inside is because i do have a lot of little halloween uh people that are born in halloweeny so there's a lot of little uh, october babies and um i wanted to go ahead and save one of these just in case we have to make one into a birthday card right so that's why i didn't stamp the inside of them i wasn't really too sure if it was going to be one of the cards that I was going to just send out to one of my loved ones or a friend or whatever it is that I usually send them out to or if I was going to use one for a birthday card so we went ahead and we left the inside blank and that was 
you know, pretty easy. I love to make cards with those cutouts from the paper packs. It just makes making cards so much easier. You just have to, you know, layer the little mats and make it all come together. So it's super, super easy. I hope you guys try out some Halloween cards. And if you guys do try some out, go ahead and share them with us on our social media, which is uh, Facebook and Instagram, Paper to Masterpiece. And we would love to see your guys' creations. Also, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that little icon. It's a picture of moi. And we become BFFFFFs because I know BFs is good. Boo boo. I know it is. But BFF is even better. So go ahead and hit that little um, subscribe button. And if, since you're already there, boo boos, go ahead and hit that little like button. The notification. Oh, <laughs> I can't even talk right now. <laughs> the notification button because that's going to notify you guys every time I upload a video. We are going to be uploading more videos, so you guys definitely don't want to be missing out. So hit that little bell icon and go ahead and share and tell a friend because your friends also know, need to know how fabulous these tutorials are. Um, I don't know why Jesse's getting so tongue twisted right now. He's getting tongue twisted. I'm trying to like do this video to bring it out for you guys today like super duper fast. So anyways, uh, don't forget to share because uh, sharing is caring, my little boo-boos. And that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Until next time. Bye.